All right. Yeah, screwed a little bit. We're back. I love you too, puddles. If you guys happen to hear something, it's because I'm recording this the night before, so on July 4th, so there's a lot of uh, fireworks and gunshots going on. Um, I did want to address something else, by the way. Um, I was going to save this for the last video I ended up uploading this week, but I figured I'd tell you guys now just to get this out of the way. Um, after what just happened regarding, like, the the one day where I wasn't able to upload anything and you know the stress that went to like my recent project I decided that after this week I'm taking a week off and I'm gonna make a a couple changes just to make videos more efficient and less stressful for me but more on that later But yeah, I will be taking a week off. I just think after the stress that my content creating has been putting on me lately, I just think it's for the best. But while we're still recording, you know, we're going to have a good time. Um, I believe we left off on... Okay, so we're doing the fruit cup first. Okay. Jackass Birdo on the motherfucking scene. I have a really huge fan of this new camera setup, by the way. It's not easier to set up, but I think it looks better, in my opinion. It just makes more sense to me. Plus, like, my phone is actually more balanced this way, because not like. So the one I, again, the way I explained it, the way I explained the last time, my phone is now, like, being, like, held together by, like, the center, and I messed up. But anyway, like, the clip where the phone stand is, is actually, like, just, like, grabbing, like, the whole, like, center of it, as opposed to just, like, just the one end of it, so, like, it's more balanced that way. Which I think makes it a whole lot easier for me to, like, straighten up the camera angle and shit. It still won't be 100% straight, but, like... At least now it's easier to adjust the angle. I'm not gonna lie, this map is starting to grow on me a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Like, now I kind of rock with it. I'm not gonna get too crazy excited if someone were to select it, but like if it does get selected, I would just feel like, ah, cool. It's an improvement to like what I originally thought of it, so. I should have backed up. God damn it, Wendy. I have the holy banana, you can't do shit. But anyway, now that my project is done, I can finally, like, talk a little bit more about, like, the one Mario Kart announcement, because, like, I thought about talking about it in the Mario Kart videos I did prior to that, but, like, I don't, I didn't want to talk about any, like, gaming announcements before that video was uploaded, you know? Um, I'm just gonna make the, um, professional decision to just, um, act like that whole race didn't happen and, um, try again.
I mean, I probably... I'm not saying there's no way I could have, like, caught up after that, but, like, it's just personal pride stick. I just felt embarrassed. Ah, uh, there goes the firework and gunshot again, I see. Or here. My granddad's a deer. <laughs> But yeah, this is 150cc, obviously, so, like, things are gonna kick up a little, a little bit, as opposed to the last two times we've played on this cup. Which I like, because at least it gives me a reason to actually try. Alright, villager. Thank you. But yeah, I wanted to just, like... Because, you know, there was a new track announced for Wave 5, and not to mention P. Piranha and Wiggler are coming back. And Kamek's actually going to be in a console Mario Kart game for the first time. I mean, two, again, two of those characters I knew were going to happen. Wiggler, I'm happy that Wiggler's there. I honestly love Wiggler, but Wiggler was just one of those characters that I just did not think they were going to prioritize. Cause Wiggler isn't even, Wiggler's not even Mario Kart Tour currently, so. That was just surprising. But yeah, Wiggler is like my favorite Mario enemy of all time, so. I can't wait to place him for content. There we go. There we go. I just like the new bathtub track. Honestly, it looks really nice. But I'm kind of surprised they didn't use this opportunity to reveal Piranha Plant Cove. If because you know that's that's how I thought it was gonna happen. I thought like they were gonna reveal that Piranha Plant Piranha Plant Cove. From tours coming over to Mark Hardy to look, and then that's when they were reveal PD Piranha. Like, that's how I thought that was gonna happen. Maybe they'll still make that for a way five, but I don't know. But the but the but the bathroom theme track is really cool, and I've seen a lot of similarities between that one and GBA Ribbon Road. So hey, it gets people talking about something, so that's cool. I do see the I, I do see the, the the similarities for the record. I can definitely see it. I know I know she had a red shell, but like I figured I'd probably shut down defenses while I could. This one's honestly fun. This is a fun little track. I like it. Just because it's one fifty does not mean they're necessarily the smartest. I feel like she had an ample amount of time to react to that. <laughs> and she just didn't. This one was on Super Circuit, right? Was it? Yeah. I still remember when my one friend, um, he was quizzing me on like all the Mario Kart titles, excluding like the arcade games and shit like that. And for some reason, I remembered all of them except for Mario 64. I somehow forgot the Mario Kart title that had the console name in the title. Yet somehow I did not forget about Super Circuit for some reason. I don't know how I remember that one existed. I couldn't tell you. God damn it, boomerangs. God damn it. 
Okay, I, I know I was an idiot for hitting that, but you're the, you're the bigger idiot for hitting that twice somehow. I almost hit that, but I didn't. Because I'm a, I'm, I'm a smart lad. I am a smart lad. <laughs> A buck rack itches. DK Summit, man. I have pretty harsh feelings about DK for reasons I explained before. But I'm a huge fan of his Summit. <laughs> huge fan. I go here every single January. I don't know why, but that on date that thing I don't know why, but like that specific part, I mean, I, I don't know why. I like that. Okay, I know I kind of like fucked that up because I sabotaged myself, but I mean, that was kind of impressive. You can't deny it wasn't a little bit impressive that I hit that. <laughs> And aimbot, aimbots are off, by the way, so. First place, DK. I figured I like what well, get all those bananas for like sabotage, but also like I'm gonna lose I was gonna lose them anyways. That's just how it works. If I'm gonna lose them, they might as well be put to good use. Or maybe they won't do anything, I don't know. Eee. My thumb hurts. For being in this position for so long. Uh. Whoever did that was a coward. But yeah, I mean, obviously I know it's kind of like outdated information, but like, of course I like the fact that Birdo's back. Birdo's cool. I know Birdo first appeared in Double Dash, and I, I'm trying to, I don't know if they were in Mario Kart 7, but I know for certain they were in Mario Kart Wii. So I know at most, they, they were in two Mario Kart games. I'm just, I just don't know if they were in 7 or not. Boom! Dang, dang, stupid bitch, ape! Bitch! <laughs> anyway, it's one time. <laughs> it's one time for the whole family. Again, it's still kind of weird that this is the track that they introduced Birdo in, because Birdo was not even in Yoshi's Island, but again, like, it's cute. And harmless. And plus, I mean, it is a really cool track, so, like, I'm all for it. I mean, Birdo is kind of like Yoshi, so, I mean, like, it still kind of fits. 
I mean, what else were they supposed to do for Burrow? A Super Mario Bros. 2 stage? I mean, that sounds cool in my opinion, but like... Would anyone actually like- would anyone actually play on that? I think I'm one of the only few people out there who actually likes Super Mario Bros. 2. Which, for the record, I know that Super Mario Bros. 2 is actually not a Mario Bros. game in Japan. It's, it was actually another game called Doki Doki Panic. And that, that the Lost Levels was actually considered Super Mario Bros. 2. But, like, it, whatever. Whatever. You get, you get the idea. And I finally got to go on that bridge. Nice. But, yeah, I genuinely like Super Mario Bros. 2. I thought, I thought it was a fun experience when I played through it. And his side steppers. Wait, I just realized it's 2023, so isn't it also been 40 years since side steppers first appearance? Oh yeah, and Luigi as well. I love Luigi, but like I'm also trying to give side steppers their credit. Well, I'm still in second place, but doesn't matter. All right, Link, just, um, yep, there we go. Now, I've been getting first place every single time up until this point, I think. My thumb is literally about to, oh my god. My thumb feels like it's literally locked in place, where I feel like if I lift it up, it's just gonna break. I had to let go. My thumb was getting too uncomfortable for that. I'm sorry. I was holding on to that banana for way too long. Boom! Yoshi! Yeah. I'm sorry, that, that 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 victory thing just gets me too pumped up for no reason. While I'm while we're waiting on this, um Uh, okay. Um, I just did a quick Google search, and no, Birdo was not in Mario Kart 7. Jack has Birdo getting some dubs. The dub stands for laundry. <laughs> That's a cool looking train, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I, li I, I like that train. Well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see y'all next time. And I'll reveal more information regarding the week off and those changes um, later. Peace out. Take care.